year to everyone. Uh, we're delighted that you uh, made your way through the rain and now snow to come and see us. People are saying, what are you looking forward to this year, Liz? And what I've said to a lot of people is last year I really felt like I was the Minister of Collective Bargaining most of the year. <laughs> and I'm absolutely thrilled that this year I'm going to get to be the Minister of Education. Happy New Year to everybody. It's great to be into the New Year. Um, this is a tradition that goes back to Louis XIV, and hopefully we have a little bit better future ahead of us than he had ahead of him. Um, we, we do things together and, and uh, work together to solve uh, the, the, the challenges ahead. Uh, the economy is kind of a little bit on the shaky, uh, shaky ground right now. Uh, there's issues in front of us that we will, will force us to work together if we're going to solve the things that we need to solve together. And I would like Lloyd to help Justin Trudeau fulfill the promises they made during the election. And the, me, and the main ones I would like is to look after the middle class. I've written down on their survey sheet a few ideas having to do with supporting women and daycare and also the idea of helping kids who are struggling to get their education and are kind of struggling in debt. I'd like to have them do that as a priority. And also I would like Liz because uh, she also is our member of parliament. Uh, in Toronto, I would like her to help us with infrastructure problems around Guelph. We've had a few issues around bridges and roads that I'd like her to get, get involved with. Okay, what would I like Liz and Lloyd to focus on? Um, well, actually, I'm very happy with uh, the federal liberal uh, platform and how it's going. Um, so I don't really have any particular, I guess maybe the, the green, the, uh, the green technology and green revolution and uh, climate change. That would be definitely, I think, the major area of focus. Provincially, um, I've never actually said this to Liz, but um, I was kind of surprised to find out that we have four boards of education. We have uh, both, you know, public, public French, Catholic, Catholic French, and I'm kind of shocked. Uh, it seems like a lot of overlap and potential for waste and not equal opportunity. Um, and so I would like to see those be realigned somehow, because I don't think it's good for kids to have four different levels of overlap. On behalf of the Young Liberals of Guelph, uh, we'd like to prioritize that uh, Lloyd Longfield continue to be an advocate for youth issues um, and be a voice for youth unemployment when he's in Ottawa. I would like uh, Lloyd Longfield to perhaps lobby for expansions to Guelph infrastructure where he sees the need. I know there's been talk of a new downtown library. So I think that's important and I hope he will be working on that. I think that he uh, can perhaps uh, tune into the current mood under the Liberal government, which is to uh, work on international trade, to retreat somewhat from combat, combat operations in the Middle East so that we can return to being a peacekeeping nation. Those are some of my priorities for the federal government. And then in terms of the province, I think I would, uh, li I would like Liz Sandals to keep working on the University of Guelph expansions and to look at where the needs currently are in terms of education, uh, outreach, so that she can, she can link up uh, the province and the federal government and make them, make them both effective in Guelph and to work for the people of Guelph because we're a growing and expanding and very successful city.